Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. Today is October 16th, 2022. The Lord titled this word, My True Bride, and the scripture he gave me is Jeremiah 16, verses 10 through 13, which read, And it shall come to pass, when thou shalt show this people all these words, and they shall say unto thee, Wherefore hath the Lord pronounced all this great evil against us? Or what is our iniquity? Or what is our sin that we have committed against the Lord our God? Then shalt thou say unto them, Because your fathers have forsaken me, saith the Lord, and have walked after other gods, and have served them, and have worshipped them, and have forsaken me, and have not kept my law. And ye have done worse than your fathers. For, behold, ye walk every one after the imagination of his evil heart, that they may not hearken unto me. Therefore I will cast you out of this land into a land that ye know not, neither ye nor your fathers, and there ye shall serve other gods day and night, where I will not show you favor. And this is the word. My son, many have said that I will not beat up my bride, and that I will take them home before anything bad happens. But I say, my true bride has been under heavy attack and knows how to stand and fight in battles, not of the flesh, but of the spirit. Many think that because they go into a building with my name over the door, they are my bride. Some are, but most are not. You have heard me say that currently my church is a whore, and she is. My church is committing fornication daily with the world. She has allowed strange and evil doctrines to come into her. She has allowed sin to permeate into all parts of her body. She has allowed witchcraft, idolatry, and adultery to stay hidden under her clothing. My church is filthy, and her white gown is torn and tattered. My son, many in my body are fearful of the coming persecution, but through the fire of persecution will come a pure and spotless bride. Many think they will not be able to stand during the persecutions, or they will die, so they fear. I say to trust me. They hated me first, and they will hate you. They persecuted me first, and they will also persecute you. My son, my children do not want to hear such hard words. They want to believe that they will escape the words foretold by my prophets and my word. My little children, hear my words. Repent now. Many have given their lives for me. They did not deny me during the times of hard persecution. They trusted in me, and I held their hands as they lost their heads. Many that call themselves my bride will not give their lives for my name. They will cower because they have not been taught to walk in faith. Many will take his mark and be forever separated from me. Repent now. My son, many will remain in the whore and continue to say they are my bride, but my true bride is tattered, bloodied, and strong in faith. My true bride bride does not walk around sporting rainbow colors or little or no dress. My true bride is holy, seeking me daily in quiet places, tearing down the gates of hell. My true bride is separated from the world, not a blended conglomerate of sin and iniquities. My true bride is about to come under heavy persecution in America. In other places around the world, my true bride has been under very heavy persecution, yet my church is strong there, as it will be in America soon. My son, my true bride is tattered, and soon, after the fire comes, she will be brilliant and strong. That is when I will come for her. Amen, Lord Jesus. As always, please take this word to the Lord in prayer for confirmation. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Please like and share on social media if led. The transcript for this word is posted in 
the description box. Thank you and God bless you. Bye for now.